Hey everyone, Harapan over here. Rick Ma here. Paul V. Hill here. Mark Strivings here. Hey, it's Eric Dittleman. Matt Baker. Carl Hine here to encourage you to check out Patrick Redford's new book, Slightly Out of Order. And I gotta tell you, if you are a card worker at all, you need both of these books. And I must say that this book is absolutely excellent. In my opinion, Patrick Redford is one of the most underappreciated creators and thinkers in magic today. Slightly out of order goes deep into the topic of memorized deck routines. You will learn the Redford stack, which is very well thought out, as well as routines like any card, any number, and the birthday card trick. Your luck is in the cards or spelling tricks. Woohoo! Never gonna give you up, which is a, not a Rick roll, but an amazing truth teller liar presentation. He's got a whole chapter on different things you can do with a memorized deck, and the level one gimmicks holds uh, by Vanishing King. It's an amazing book about the memorized deck. It's so, so good with so many ideas, so many great ideas. The thinking is what's going to actually take you to the next level. I study Patrick's material dedicatedly. The tricks built into it are super dope. The construction is really, really smart. The stuff is either right out and go by it because it's so, so good. You don't want to miss this one. And it's got some fabulous work in there. I highly recommend it. This book definitely deserves a place on your bookshelf, and I hope you check it out. And I highly recommend it to you. So check out Patrick Redford's new book, Slightly Out of Order. that before I, I before you got here today I took one card out of that pack at random turned it face up slipped it dead center in the middle of the pack right next to one of the red queens you're going to tell me what that card is mm -hmm. I don't want you to guess if you guess this won't work so when I snap my fingers you're going to name red or black whatever you name that's the that's what we use and we'll do that for the suits and then we'll do that for the values okay red or black red red interesting Hearts or diamonds? Diamonds. Diamonds. I'll do this one more time, but don't go with the first thing that comes to mind this time. Change your mind. So whatever comes to mind first, change your mind before you say it out loud. Any value? Um, uh, eight. The eight of diamonds. Yeah. And you can see that you actually thought about this. Yeah because you had that moment of, Ooh, the, the, no, not that one. And the reason I have you do that is because you get in this sort of um, rhythm of compliance where you stop thinking and you start guessing. And you specifically didn't guess, you went to something specific. Right. Right? Now, believe it or not, before we started, I took one card out of this pack at random and I put it inside next to the Queen of, uh, sorry, next to the Queen of Hearts, right between the Queen of Hearts and the Nine of Clubs. One card. Okay. And I did this at random. Um, so what I did actually is I went through the cards like this and uh, I took one card out, just straight out of the middle, and I sort of peeked to see what cards in, you know, in between in the middle that I put it in between. But if I were to spread through these cards and show you the card, you might suspect me of, of doing some of that sleight of hand stuff. That's why I want you to spread through. You'll find one card right in the center, right between the Queen of Hearts and the Nine of Clubs, if I remember correctly from earlier today. There is one card. Queen of Hearts, Nine of Clubs. I remember, I told you where that was before you announced yes, your card. Yes, you did. And you said the Eight of? Diamonds. Spread through real quick. Make sure there's no Eight of Diamonds oh, in the no. pack. Do you see one? No, I don't. <laughs> That's because it's, it's here. Ah! Ah, that hurt. 